Welcome to the Colonel's Softball Express. It's been almost a year and the EKU Softball Colonels are tired of hitting in cages and are ready for some live action. You'll hear some familiar names, you'll hear some new names, and we'll even introduce you to Antonio as the Colonels kick the season off at the Mercer Invitational down in Georgia. Last year's 20 game winner Leanna Pitsenbarger getting the start in game one against Samford and the junior will get Taylor to foul out to Tackett to work a perfect half of the first. EKU would put two on in their half of the first, but Molly Hansen would get a shin-high call to escape the jam. Samford would strike first in the fourth as Hannah Taylor gets an RBI single. Samford would push another across as Abby Adams knocks in Taylor. Sarah Fobbs up in Eastern's half of the fourth, and she'll get hit in the shoulder, but she would not be awarded first base. Fobbs would not survive the at-bat. Shannon McQueen up next and she'll score Lauren Mitchell as she rips a double to right center. Chrislyn Campos ties it up as the freshman loops an RBI single to right. Shaylin Robb in her first full inning of relief gets Dowdy to ground out to Mitchell to end a perfect half of the fifth. Robb would retire the first 11 batters she faced. McQueen up with two outs in the sixth, looking to extend the inning. Checks her swing. Home plate umpire Mark Bush asks for help, and Mike Stewart punches her out, and McQueen can't believe it. Neither can Antonio. As we see here, McQueen clearly doesn't break the plane as she checks her swing. Still knotted at two in the bottom of the seventh, when Darcy Schuler grounds one to third that bounces off Brister. Adams snares it, makes the throw, and Schuler's called out. Coach Wood, not happy. To the replay, Schuler's foot is clearly on the bag before the ball is caught. EKU would put two runners on, but with Schuler being called out, Samford could pitch around Tackett and get a lazy pop fly to send this game to extras. Samford would plate three in the extra frame, and EKU just couldn't catch up as they dropped their season opener 5-3. Haley Flynn warming up and EKU staying loose, waiting to take on Florida A&M. Selig up with two on in the first, and the senior skies the double to left center that scores Joyce and McQueen. FAMU would score two of their own in their half of the first to tie the game up. Mitchell up with two on in the third, and the junior lifts one to deep center to get a sack fly and score McQueen. Eastern leads 3-2. Fobbs up next and the sophomore rips an RBI double to left. Eastern would get an unearned run to push the score to 5-2. Tack it up with one out in the fourth. Bam! The junior launches the first of the season. The Colonels lead by four. Selick up with two outs and she'll keep the inning alive as she lines one up the middle. Nicole Heights up next and she loops a single to keep the inning going. Mitchell would draw a walk to load the bases for Fobbs. Bam! She collects four RBIs with one swing, and Eastern leads 10-2. The Colonels would get one more run in the fifth, and Flynn would get Lopez to ground one right back to her to end the game. Flynn would pick up the win and would allow only three batters to reach base after the first inning as the Colonels split their first two games of the Mercer Invitational. This is David Miller with your softball express.